I'm vlogging. Let me just stop myself right there. This is not my normal content, but moms are people too. And moms go on vacations. Okay, well, we're getting ready to go to Joshua Tree. Logan's about to vacuum the room. It's chaos. I get super overwhelmed when I pack for trips. I'm pretty sure I have undiagnosed ADHD. So what happens to me is I get like paralysis when I feel overwhelmed. So I've literally just been walking around in circles thinking about what to do, but not really actually doing anything. <laughs> so now I'm gonna get ready and then I need to pack up all the rest of my stuff and then we're gonna hit the road. It's gonna be my first time on, well, my second time on the motorcycle yesterday. We did a test, right, Logan? Mm -hmm. How'd I do, how'd I do? Did great. Did fantastic. Fantazzle. I did fantazzle. Um, it was cool. It was a little scary, but I feel like I can definitely handle it for an hour. So let's go. I just realized that that last video was made with zero context. Um, we're going to Joshua Tree this weekend for four days. This is the longest I will have ever left Winona and I'm getting kind of nervous about it, but I know that the trip is gonna be fun and it's a much needed vacation. I just saw a white butterfly out the window. It's gonna be a good weekend. Right now I'm pumping her, or pumping what I can before we leave. We already have milk prepared, all that kind of stuff, but basically we're staying in an Airbnb out in Joshua Tree and we're just gonna kind of like hang out and relax so we can explore. I'm riding the motorcycle and this is my first big trip on a motorcycle so I'm pretty excited about it a little nervous but I know we're gonna be fine all right I'm pretty much ready just pumping along here um, and everyone all my friends are coming over to the house and then we're all gonna carpool over there Adam you're already wearing swim shorts Hell yeah, I'm ready, dude. <laughs> hi everybody hey. <laughs> Arlene like, well, like, um, are you ready extra ready yeah like, and before we left, we all got together for a group photo. We've been into using the disposable film cameras and it came out really good. And then after our group photo, we stopped at the gas station and then we were on our way to Joshua Tree. I wrote a poem. I'll tell you guys later. This is the poem I wrote off the top of the dome. Okay, it goes. I think I experienced the five stages of grief. I imagine what my face would feel like if it slid across hot asphalt at 110 degrees. I think about what my mother and what my daughter would think. And then I imagined we had wings and a white light guided us through the cars and over the freeway and said, honey, it's not your time to die. And I don't think I've ever felt more afraid and yet so incredibly alive. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. Boom, that was sick. Dude. Candace and Adam have arrived. Hey, you guys did that in Hey, Adam. Oh yeah. Blur. <laughs> nice dress, where'd you get it? Yeah, yeah. Terrible. 
So our first stop was the Joshua Tree Saloon. They did have an inside, but the wait was like two hours, so we just decided to sit on their patio section. They did have appetizers and drinks, which was awesome. <laughs> There's also live music. This band was really good. Um, they also have open mic nights on Tuesdays, which is pretty cool. There's Jared grooving out. So yeah, we just chilled, watched the band, and drank some drink. What's up, fam? We out here. I'm just kidding. But we're out here. Um, me and Logan are chilling under this one shady tree. And so far, so good. The ride was great. I almost passed out. I caught this moment of inertia and I realized I wasn't breathing for like five minutes. Um, but yeah, we're gonna drink some mojitos and some wine, chill go to the Airbnb once everyone gets here, and then we're gonna chill and swim. Tomorrow, we're planning on going to Garth's Big Boulders. If you haven't been there before, it's like this giant rock garden, and this guy, Garth, owns the property, and he built in an art studio into the rocks, and I've been there once when we hosted like a festival, but it's really cool, so excited for that. What you got cooking? How about cooking something, something up with me? <laughs> Perfect song. Do a tornado. Do a tornado. Arlene, do a tornado. Jared, Jared, Jared. Okay, one, two, three, go. Oh my gosh, what the? Woo! I just wasted eight bucks. <laughs> <laughs> go get in line for another one. Yeah. The next up on the list was this crystal store that Logan really wanted to go to. Right when we pulled up, I saw freaking wings on the building. Angel wings on the building. If that's not confirmation for what I experienced on the motorcycle, I don't know what is. Oh, that is super cute. So we just shopped around for a little while. They had some really cool stuff there. Um, they definitely were playing into the Joshua Tree tours in a little bit because everything was like super pricey, but we had fun looking around anyways. When you said rock store, I was thinking buying those and you know, some 70s. Oh, bandana and shit. Stamina and strength. I'm good on that, thanks. <laughs> you need to get it. You need to. Oh my god. We're leaving with this. Oh my god. Guess you wow, are yeah. I saw it on like dude. This is amazing. You guys, guys need that. So sick. <laughs> hey Pat. He doesn't want photos. <laughs> Hi Patrick. Hi, how you doing? This is my cousin. I'm out here. <laughs> We're in uh, Yucca. Nice. Yucca Yucca. Yucca. <laughs> oh, right. Hi Bella. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Patrick literally looked like he was gonna beat me up. Who you calling Pinhead? Get it? SpongeBob jokes. Joshua Tree Rock yeah. Shop. Check. Anyways, and then we went over to Stater Brothers to get our groceries for the weekend. And then we all pulled up to the Airbnb. And we are ready to get our groove on. Adam, can I get a tour of your room, please? That's my crib. It's like, like, cheek art deco shit. What'd you say, cheek? I don't know. Some hipster word, cheek. <laughs> yeah. Is it actually a cheek? First order of business was to trick Candace and tell her that the pool was empty. No, it's full. I was like, no way, it's actually Wow, this place is so sick. They had this really cool tree there that we all really like to sit under. They had the pool, a hammock area, the weeds were a little out of control, and this weird stick sticking out of the ground. But they did have cornhole, and we played that all weekend. And then we put all of our stuff away, got them packed, packed up all the groceries and whatnot. And then out of the corner of my eye, I saw Dean looking all majestic, flowing in the wind. Dean, wait, go back in the door for him, you look majestic. So 
We all got ready to go swimming. This was my first time wearing a bikini since um, I gave birth, so it's pretty interesting. Oh yeah, that's my room. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty normal. And that's my pump setup. The living room was well put together, might I, might I say. They had a foosball table, it was well decorated. The kitchen was definitely updated, new appliances. They had a, a mid-century modern style table, which I was a little bit jealous of. Patrick, I also forgot he was a DJ and he brought all of his cool DJ equipment and we had a dance party. Candace said it was warm. Jump in. How's the water, buddy? Welcome to my crib. The water? You are Pisces, I suppose. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, my beer just fucking exploded on me. It's all right though, I'm gonna drink it. Cheers. <laughs> Could you just record? I'm gonna get in the pool with Candace and them. Could you just record a little shot? Yeah, can you give this to Candace? Yeah. Did you get your sunscreen? Yes. Okay. Is this already recording? Yeah, no, don't record my butt. Uh, I'm not, dude. What the heck? I'm a respectful in individual, bro. I got you guys. I got you guys. Look, I got you going in. Candace. Thank you. That was cool. That was, so that was pretty good. sweet. Dude, yeah, you need some? Yeah. Dude, this yeah, is like good. fucking broken. And I had to cut the music for copyright reasons. Don't flag me. Go for it, go for it. No, it's, it's been pretty good. These are good uh, angles right here. Okay. I'm in mean, now. We're here. Close up. Now Do you have something swimming. to say? We've named the dinosaur Julio. Julio. Yes. Okay. Alright, that is all now. Um, Thank you so much. How do I stop? Do I click that button? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we just hung out in the pool. And just so you guys know, the day only got more and more chaotic from here. <laughs> you went, look at me! <laughs> I'm just gonna acknowledge the camera every time. I can't see the camera. Oh, so <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> oh, girl, that's if we don't know. We don't know. We don't know about none of that. <laughs> What you doing, baby? Uh, uh, uh. Cooking. <laughs> Logan chefing it up. He always cooks everyone bomb freaking food. After we all ate, me and Logan, doing our normal shenanigans, decided that we were gonna play a trick on everyone in the spa. Look, they're boiling crabs. <laughs> 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 they didn't even notice. <laughs> That's in the vlog right now. <laughs> it's honestly so rude. Oh, Candace, on. don't go in there. I'm coming into the potion. No more potions. Salud, salud. Salud. Wait, get my apples back. I'm very overwhelmed. I need blue. Salud. I need blue. And that pretty much concluded our chaotic night, but stick around for part two. We go to the film museum, walk around town. We almost got attacked by a snake. It's a fun time, it's a fun time. And thanks for watching, we'll see you out in part two.